Good morning. It's time for our daily devotion. I wonder if you ever feel absolutely exhausted and worn out. <laughs> well, I, I want to address that a little bit today. We are continuing our discussion about joy. Uh, this past Sunday, we lit the third Advent candle, which is the candle of joy. And uh, we've talked for the last couple of days about what it means to have real joy, what it doesn't mean, what it does mean, uh, the joy that the shepherds must have experienced, the joy that Mary and Joseph must have experienced. And, and uh, so today I want to take it just in a slightly different direction and, and talk to you about the fact that the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I think especially this time of the year with all the holiday parties and the family gatherings and the shopping for presents and the uh, meeting together uh, in different groups that we're a part of, it's very easy to get to the end of the day or the end of the week and just not know how we're going to continue on and make it through all the holiday festivities. Uh, actually, uh, I, <laughs> I often think during the Christmas season that I need to take a three or four day uh, respite during the uh, the height of the season just to make sure that uh, I'm at my best on Christmas weekend, Christmas Sunday. Uh, for those who I may only see once a year, I need to be at my very best. And sometimes I have to be honest and just tell you that this time of the year I get tired. Uh, I'm always invited to lots of Christmas parties for Sunday school classes and for church activities. There's always extra things going on around the building. Uh, there's lots of extra preparation for the uh, month of December, for Advent, for uh, special sermons and special series and special music and all those kinds of things. Uh, not to mention all of the regular family activities and shopping experiences and all the other things that all of us do. Uh, I have to tell you, for a pastor, sometimes by the time you get to Christmas, you're just absolutely worn out. And I know many of you feel the same way. As a matter of fact, uh, the holidays are a time when a lot of people suffer from depression and, and uh, being despondent. And part of that is due to the fact that we are absolutely exhausted. Well, the joy of the Lord, the Bible says, is our strength. So if this really is a season of joy, if this really is a season of joy that surpasses our circumstances and transcends the situations of our life and the busyness and the activity. If, if drawing from the joy uh, of the Lord becomes strength to us, um, then the truth of the matter is when we find ourselves uh, at the end of our rope, when we find ourselves absolutely worn out, when we find ourselves absolutely uh, exhausted with no strength to go on, it may be uh, in addition to all the activities, in addition to all the extras, it may be that we are failing on a daily basis to draw from the well uh, of strength that comes by experiencing the joy of the Lord. And so we concentrate on those things that we have to be joyful about, and not on the list of things that we haven't gotten accomplished or we haven't gotten done yet, uh, not on that big long to-do list that still has to be done by Christmas morning. But instead, we begin to turn our focus away from the activities and the things that uh, have a tendency to drain us. And instead, we focus our attention on the thing that has a tendency to fill us, which is the joy of the Lord. I love the scripture where Jesus says uh, those that believe in him from their innermost being will well springs of living water. Uh, that kind of abundant joy, that kind of overflowing joy, that kind of overflowing strength and power and encouragement uh, that comes from knowing and experiencing the joy of the Lord. So here's a little exercise uh, today uh, before you face that to do list or maybe in the middle of it or maybe at the end of it while you're making the to do list for tomorrow. Uh, spend a few moments thinking about all the reasons you have to be joyful. Uh, and the number one reason is because Jesus came, that God loves you, that you are important to him, that he knows your name that uh, he has created a special plan for your life. That ought to bring joy to your heart. And with that joy of the Lord comes strength. So be strengthened today. Be encouraged today. Be lifted up today. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, go make it a joyful and a great day. And I'll see you next time.